So as we all know, about, well, you know, nine months ago, there was an earthquake in Japan, up on the eastern seaboard, and it was 8.9 on the Richter scale, oh, so I'm just going to eat some tuna, and it sent a tidal wave in over the eastern seaboard of Japan. And we saw swathes of ocean going inland, and people driving across motorways, mile inland, miles inland, and then being swept off it by a great big wave. And on top of the water, which was going inland, there was like buildings on fire. It was quite bad. It was called an earthquake and a tsunami. And we had something called Fukushima nuclear disaster. It was a big disaster. Now, the Fukushima plant leaked radioactivity into the ocean where tunas, tuna fish, skipjack, swim, like tuna, right, and this tuna in here, it's now 2012, nine months after the disaster, this will be around about radioactive, if it's going to be radioactive. So the conspiracy is, You've got Greenpeace and all these other namby pamby arseholes saying how bad nuclear stuff is. And then you've got millions of people worldwide still eating tuna. And other fish, shark fins and all manner of things from around that nuclear, nuclear disaster zone. The, the Japanese themselves, they're just mad on seafood. Just keep on eating it. They ain't bother, just keep on eating it. it comes in land and they eat it. They've just caught the world records biggest tuna, bluefin tuna and it sold for the record price three quarters of a million whatever it was, or MB or whatever it was it was the world's most expensive tuna ever sold in Japan last week I think it was like around about the 12th of January 2012 most expensive tuna so there you go if it's really really that bad and you think you shouldn't be eating radioactive fish because of it's, it's nuclear. The worst thing in this fish will be the PCBs from oil. Now, quite obviously, when they take fish out of the sea, they test them. And they're testing them for PCBs at the moment from oil and plastics. And their concentrations are miles higher. And the PCBs are in the food chain now. You're getting PCBs in cows, and sheep, and buffalo, and humans. <laughs> There's PCBs everywhere from using oil. You know what? Radioactivity? After Chernobyl? After Fukushima? After Sellafield? After Windscale? After Three Mile Island? After open air nuclear tests? Norm is still norm. We've got something called Norm. N O R M. Norm. It's pretty normal. Yeah, PCBs are going up and up and up. That's plastics and oils in your food. In the flesh of the vegetables that you're eating. In the flesh of the meats that you're eating. There's PCBs in the food chain now. Lots of PCBs. And it's said that they cause cancers. Really bad ones. Worldwide PCBs everywhere. There's a great big floating raft of plastic and shit that floats on water. Anything that floats on water floats on water. Wood, plastic, oil. There's a great big floating island in the Pacific. And there's fish trying to eat it and seabirds trying to eat it. And they're in the food chain. And you're eating that. That's miles worse than the nuclear waste. The nuclear waste just goes woo, doof, straight to the bottom of the ocean, stays there. Oil floats to the fucking top. Everything fucking has a go at it. Everything. So there's, there's a conspiracy. But the conspiracy is hiding what oil is doing to the environment. That's the conspiracy. Nuclear stuff is safe unless it explodes. And that's either due to a massive great big accident 
gross negligence or a war. And we don't need that for oil to be fucking doing stuff. We get oil tankers going over everywhere. You know, just pumping out the ground. The pumps that are pumping out the ground. It's just splurging back into the fucking ground there and then. Then transporting it from there to wherever you want to refine it. The transportation of refining it. It's leaking all over the thing. Cars crash. Oil all over the floor. Every time you have a car accident. Oil over the floor. Every time the mechanic, whether it's a... Uh, a mechanical engineer repairing a great big digger in a mine or a mechanic in a garage repairing a motorcycle or a car when he spills a bit of oil on the floor that's more oil more PCBs, more benzenes and more other contaminants into the, into the food chain, into the water table when you take an oil filter off of one of these uh, diggers down the mines or open, ca you know, open cast mines or within a workshop do you put it into the recycling bin or do you chuck it into the normal bin into landfill oil everywhere poisoning everyone conspiracy you want a conspiracy oil is contaminating everything